Get ready to have everything you know about building a website turned on its head. Imagine creating a website or web application in minutes, not months. I'm going to show you how to create a website, and the best part is that it'll match our vision perfectly, from the colors and style to the exact fonts. That's the magic of an app called Lovable. Hi, and welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to look at a website creator called Lovable. You probably fall into one of three groups. First, maybe you've never built a website but always wanted one or wanted to be involved in creating one. Second, perhaps you've built a website before and realized just how long and tedious the process can be. Even with programming skills, it's tough because you also need artistic talent, and very few of us possess both. Finally, and possibly the most frustrating situation, is when you've tried to build a website by working with a developer. This typically ends up being an expensive, drawn-out process filled with endless back-and-forth conversations. More often than not, the developer struggles to capture your vision exactly as you imagine it. Eventually, you either run out of patience or money, or they run out of time to help, and you end up settling for something less than what you wanted. We are going to create a website by prompting it into existence. We're literally going to describe what we want, and Lovable is going to create it. Because this experience is truly mind-blowing, I don't want to dive into advanced stuff too quickly. Imagine showing someone who's only ever seen a horse and buggy their very first car. It's that level of wow. Right now, I just want you to grasp the potential. Later, we'll explore how to pull off some fancy maneuvers. We're going to start by creating a simple one-page website. Believe it or not, a lot of people only need one page. This is typically called a landing page, and it's designed to clearly showcase a product, service, or individual. It provides all the key information and guides visitors towards scrolling down and entering their email address. This lets the website owner follow up and eventually sell their product or service. Let me give you a quick preview of what we'll cover, then we'll jump straight into the live demo. First, we're heading over to lovable.dev. Quick heads up, make sure it's lovable.dev and not lovable.com. Trust me, that's a totally different site, and you might want to be careful, especially if you're at work. That's all I'll say about that. Next, similar to ChatGPT or other AI tools you've tried, we'll enter a prompt. We simply tell Lovable exactly what we want, and it creates the website for us. I'll share detailed tips and tricks for creating great websites with Lovable in another video, once you've mastered the basics. But here's one important piece of advice right now. Just like making prompts for ChatGPT, the more detail you provide at the beginning, the better. It's easier to include all your desired features up front than to try to add or remove things later. I usually compare it to making meatloaf. It's much simpler to mix in all your ingredients beforehand and bake it, rather than realizing later you forgot peppers or didn't actually want onions. Here we are in Lovable, and I'm going to create a website for a book that I'm going to be launching this summer, and I want to get some email addresses so I can send out a release when it comes out. In return for them giving me their email addresses now, I'll give them some chapters from the book to help jumpstart what they're trying to do. As I alluded in the first part of the video, you really want to take some time and think about all the things that you want to do ahead of time. Like I said, it's kind of like meatloaf. Once you make it and you bake it, trying to say, oh, you know what? I really wanted to put more salt in it, or I wanted to do this. You can do it, but it's much more difficult. To that end, I first got all of the things I wanted together. I got a picture of myself, some information about the book, and what I wanted the landing page to look like. I gave it some information about the people I was trying to get, what I was trying to do, some offers, got all that stuff, put it together. I have a email program, so it's best if I tell it that now and give it all of the information so it knows what to do. I have a prompt that I created. This was the first version of the prompt where I said, this is what I want. This is the colors. This is the style, all of that stuff. However, I then soon realized with Lovable, I could add my picture, but I couldn't add these other two files. That's okay. So I then came up with this long prompt. So this prompt has the first information that I have. It has all of that information I showed you about the book, who I am, so on and so forth. Then it also has all of this code. Now I say no code and I don't mean to scare you with this. This is one of those middle of the road things. If you use code, you kit.com or one of those other things, you can embed that in there. If you don't know what I am talking about, do not worry. You would have just said, 
collect the emails and email them to me or put them in a spreadsheet or whatever. I have a specific place I want to put them. Having said that, I'm now going to paste that massive prompt into the window. I am going to attach my bio image and hit the submit button. It's confirming my order. It knows what I'm looking for. The design will feature a clean, modern aesthetic with strong typography, hierarchy, and ample white space. All right, so we have our page. We're going to have to make some changes to it. And it's already said that. It says, look, you're going to want to customize this. This got my image in. First come, first serve. Okay. And then this is section four from my kit.com. This is actually put this in correctly. I might need to make a couple of small changes to this. However, doing this will immediately fill it out. Actually, let me just try it. What happens here? If I put this in here, it does it bounce to kit.com? It does. You've now been successfully added. And I can put. <clears throat> I can put another thank you page so that it takes care of it. this looks good but there is no color no graphics no corporate feel it looks very mundane let's jazz it up if need be we'll change the fonts around a little bit more in line with corporate fonts we can use royal blue as one of the corporate colors All right, this is starting to look a little better. This is cool. Automation, who is this for? All right. We're getting there. My picture in here. Oh, I like the urgent with the red lights. A placeholder image for a copy of the book that we'll put up in and around the hero section. Also, yeah, let's do that. Only thing is, I think that's going to be too big. All right, I can live with this. Now we're going to hit publish. And I can add a custom domain. So I can connect an existing domain or I can buy a domain. For those of you who have not bought domains before, this part is simple. You click, you give them some money, you tell them the domains you want, and it does it. I get all of our domains through our company, which is called Boston Web Domains. I'll put a link for that down below. We're just a reseller for GoDaddy. So we're cheaper than GoDaddy, but you're still getting the same GoDaddy. It's like the Kirkland brand of domains. I'm gonna get my domain right now from that. Click on connect to a domain that I already own. It says it's fun, easy, and secure. I'm going to go ahead and use how to use AI to make real money in 2025.com. Try to keep things simple around here. Um, it's obviously a really long domain, but the idea is, is that that will help in marketing. So we'll go ahead and put that in. We'll hit continue. It's telling me we have to add two records and we're going to do this record and this record and that should be it and here we go here is our website i came across something and i had to research it because it made no sense you do not pay for hosting you pay a monthly fee for using lovable and get credits to create your websites but you do not pay a monthly fee for your website for those of you who have websites now and you're paying 20 or 30 bucks a month you could be paying lovable $25 a month and creating website after website after website. You don't pay for hosting. You have to pay for the domain name, but once you buy that, it's yours, and you can attach it to the website just as we've done here.
This is a fully functional website that you saw me create in just five to 10 minutes. We covered a lot, you know, and honestly, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more you can do with Lovable. One of the biggest aha moments we had was realizing you can host multiple websites without paying multiple fees. That's huge. If you've got a couple of Wix sites you're juggling for different projects, you could consolidate everything and still have the same functionality for way less money. We're working on some deeper dives, like how to automatically pull in your YouTube videos, podcasts, blog feeds. That's all coming soon. If you're ready to try Lovable, please use our affiliate link down below. It helps support the channel, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Need a domain? We've got a link for that too. If you want to get ahead of the curve, consider becoming a channel member. You'll get access to exclusive videos, behind-the-scenes walkthroughs, early releases, the good stuff. As you probably noticed, we used an avatar for this one. We have just too much info to get to you to always wait to do live filming. So let us know, did the avatar help or hurt? Drop a comment below and give us your thoughts. Until the next time for the High Tech Nomad, signing out.